Oh, I fuck, we missed all that. Jesus Christ. <laughs> so, okay. Um, yeah, so I, I guess what, what I was saying, um, last time <laughs> on my Saturday here, uh, my Saturday, we had our group talk like usual. And for I don't know if it's because of what you said or something else, but basically the last week, we've had no work to do, really. They've, they've really haven't assigned much like the just kind of thinking stuff, not, not actually any doing stuff. So that was nice. So basically in our call, we had nothing to do. So we just chatted about stuff instead, which is something we haven't done for a while. And uh, near to the end, I thought, hey, I should, I should use this opportunity. So I asked them like, hey, I'm working with Elijah to create a platform for, you know, all of the groups and how to like, so that we can move forward, you know, in the future here soon. Uh, you know, like what kind of platform are you guys you know, sort of trying to test the waters for what they wanted or what they yeah. were expecting or what they, you know. So I asked them two main questions. One was, uh, you know, beyond the already one hour a week call, would you be, you know, how would you feel about doing another hour for something else, you know, in order to get stuff done? And they basically all agreed that, yeah, you know, that everyone's, you know, these are just the people in my group and only about half the group was there, but they all agreed. Uh, that yeah it's not gonna it's not realistic for us to get anything done in just that one hour video call a week so they were kind of expecting to do extra work yeah uh, and then I and then I the second question I asked was basically like um, yeah we're designing a platform you know to kind of collaborate with and, and move forward uh, some of the group's ideas and stuff you know how would you guys feel about a platform and yeah, I got, got a lot of negative feedback or, or just kind of like grumpy faces and confusion. Um, yeah, <laughs> I guess, uh, I guess uh, part of it, they were, they were saying that uh, they had some critiques about you and your work. <laughs> and oh. that's how, that's how your cards came up with Gino as well, because he was there. Um, yeah, I guess what, it doesn't really matter too much. What were the critiques? Um, they, they thought that, they you know, a couple of them said they just outright didn't like your stuff that much and they thought it was too rigid and that you were, your ideas were too rigid and not, you know, not relatable exactly to what to what was needed, needed to happen. Uh, and there are a couple, I mean, they all they all like your stuff. They just thought that it's, it's, they, the kind of, a few of them commented the same sort of thing. Like it's, it's too rigid and, and uh, they wouldn't want to use a platform designed by you because it's, it's so, it would probably be, I don't know, they were imagining this to be bad. And I said, well, you know, I'm working with them too. So it's kind of a collaborative thing and we're trying to work out the best platform to make that we think will be helpful. So, you know, I asked for their input and stuff. And they said, yeah, you know, just kind of, they're, they're thinking similar to what I was like, take the pieces that out of, out of what you have that, that are applied to what we're trying to do and just make a platform out of that and then slowly integrate the rest of your stuff, you know, into different pieces, but not all at once. They were, they're, they're, they're kind of the, the familiar comment was they're overwhelmed by the amount of uh, like very specific stuff that you have, like how it all links together and how it's all together. It's too much. They, they're wanting like pieces of it, but not the whole thing ever at the same time, really, at this point. How many pieces have they got? They've barely got anything. Well, like I, I you know, um, yeah, that's true. I guess I'm not sure specifically what they're talking about. Like I only got about 15 minutes of, of discussion about it in the whole meeting there at the end, and then they all had to go. Basically... Yeah, um, the choose the remedy. They said uh, the choose the remedy is kind of old looking. They don't like the style and it's kind of weird. But uh, you know, yeah. They, I mean, and and it, it, I don't think it's anything specifically towards you because we also, as one of our assignments as a group, I think all the groups had to do it. We had to like make a list of the tools that we used. You know, out of all the tools that Luciel has given out, and we basically opted to say none. Because we didn't use any of the tools as a group really to make decisions or to do anything. We looked at them all, we did gene keys, we did your stuff, we did all the stuff, but we didn't really use any of it directly to do anything. Is kind of our 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 what about the convo summary. types? What about the convo types? Uh they didn't we didn't specifically talk about that. So then Gino and then Gino broke 
basically like interrupting and say, oh yeah, you know, I'm also working with Elijah and with some people in Hong Kong to get a Kickstarter working for his cards and stuff. And he says that it basically he's, he was telling the whole group, I guess, that the problem why that stalled is because a lot of them couldn't agree on, on uh, like they all thought the whole, the whole him and his, and his Chinese friends, they all thought that the, the conversation killers was really good and that that could be marketed right away. But that all the other card types were confusing and they were they they thought they got arguing i guess with each other about the meanings of the different words and thinking they didn't agree with some of the meanings that you had on them but the conversation killers they were all about it they, they you know that apparently was just a go <laughs> that's so they've stalled out talk. because they got apparently yes. the group has stalled out because they were arguing with each other too much about <laughs> how they should market your other cards that's kind of the summary i got no but which is which is perfect in terms of the convo killers they like them because that's how they talk they probably interrupted each other we're probably dismissing each other. yeah well yeah i mean that were, was very relatable to them i guess and maybe the other ones were too but the they couldn't so, agree so that's why they're not on. talking to me like i was about to fire them and they're just horrible they've been horrible i guess i mean i would try to get your intellectual property rights back <laughs> And I would, I, you know what? I would just try to have a conversation with Gino and, and tell and have a talk to him about it. You know, you don't have to mention. I would, I would advise you not to mention that I told you all this, but at, you know, just as a, as a, I, I had to tell you. I mean, come on, right? But it, it might be a good idea not to mention that and just say, hey, you know, it's been a while. What's going on? You know, can we have a discussion about this and try to try to figure out what page they're on and what page you're on, and then. I think Gino is a reasonable guy. I don't think he's going to try to steal your stuff if, if you want to back out. But I think you'll need his help to get it back if you want it back to, into the, the IP property. What? What do you mean? Well, if you've already, you told me you already given away your, your, your sign, you signed the intellectual property thing, right? I didn't sign anything. You told me before that you gave them the intellectual property on those cards. Well, I mean, I, I gave an Excel spreadsheet of all of the actual stuff. Not, no, oh, I didn't okay. sign the agreement. I just, they have all my cards in an, in an Excel spreadsheet. Oh, uh, okay. That's different. Okay. Well, that's fine. But yeah, either way, I'd go through Gino if I were you and just have, try to have a combo about with him and try to get it back on track. Yeah. I mean, I, I wrote them off a while ago. They, I mean, because they're just, anyway, I'm, I'm getting the, the cards redone. Um, they're going to have a bit of a new look. Got a graphic designer working on that. Um, yes. sort I like of the look. More space, like I think I'll have two versions. I'll just have two okay. two versions. Um, you like the look, yeah? Okay, yeah, because you know it's like anything. You know, other people don't like the look. You know, it's <laughs> Gino said they needed an upgrade in terms of the look. I've I've had that comment before. I think in many ways, I think they're just based like there's not much you can do to them. I mean, they kind of change. You'll see they change. There's change the font, the style, and stuff. It looks kind of cool. Um, I, I'm going to give Lori the chance of which ones they want. You know, it's nice to have two versions, right? Yeah. Um, you're probably going to get a set of the other ones. <laughs> That's cool. Whatever. But, they're, but I think you like them. They're, they're, they're pretty cool. Like it's, uh, we'll see. We'll see. Yeah. But, but you know what? Like, I mean, the thing is, you know, what's funny is, is this is, you know the reason I you know I reached a stage where I realized that nothing I had no input into how my stuff was being presented in which order with other stuff right and you know I think hardly any of my stuff is in there um, uh, I don't know I think I'm surprised to hear there's five people because I only ever see it looks like the vast majority is your stuff and the gene keys guy I don't see much of anything else yeah well there's a magic canoe guy. Um, yeah, and the others. Yeah, I don't. I, I can't identify which things are his if, if there are any. They must have been something included of his, but I can't see what it is. Like, I, don't I, I, actually, magic canoe, I so. stopped looking for the last two, three weeks because I was annoyed. Um, yeah. <laughs> so have they pre been presenting the flow wheel and the synergy wheel or anything? Um, let me just see. You want me to just share what they've done? Let we'll me just, just yeah, put put me on the share the screen thing and I'll show you what's going on. Okay. Um probably be pretty useful. But so we gotta have this done for two weeks. Is that gonna be done? 
And uh, what should we do about Dylan? Um, yeah, but we got to figure out, I guess you're saying we don't know what the seven steps are now. Yeah. That's yeah, they have, we have moved beyond step four already in our original idea. Yeah. And you know, you know, there's another weird thing. I put What's forward, that? why don't we put out messages to the teams and ask them what missions they would like to do? Like, what do they feel is necessary? Thinking that, you know, by this time, the team should be having input into what they want to do. And it was it was right. nays naysayed by three of them. Really? So can you see this? Yeah. Yeah. So I mean, here's I could I could say if you want, but I don't know. I, I'm assuming you don't have access to this, or you do? Oh no, no, I have the same. Oh okay. Well, I haven't even done this week. I just okay. Uh, my other teammates said. What uh, are the last two or three you know, weeks? I, I I'm stuck on. Uh, I'm still on day eighty here. Okay. I got to catch up. I've been too busy. Because so I, I actually don't know. That's funny because a lot of like my stuff, like I just realized that the sequence that like the combo types were put in the middle of like there's no use of them in the video and they're, they're put with, with three other card sets as PNGs. Way too much info. You know, way, you know, the combo types, you need like, you know, train, like a lot more training and then the videos and then. I mean, it's just showing me what works and what doesn't work. <laughs> yeah, you know, like this is all given me. Still, I, I always keep thinking now, you know, over the last few weeks, I've been thinking, you know, like this is really good. Let's see all this very cool, you know, interesting people I'm working with. And, and that, that system is pretty neat. The, the potential is there, the very high potential of what they're doing. Yeah. I don't know if they're going to succeed or not, but the very high potential. Um, but at the same time, I keep thinking like, you know, what are we waiting for? Why don't we just also start a group right now and, and don't even tell them and say, hey, we're also, you know, and, and make a recruiting page and all this stuff and send out a bunch of emails and get 144 people to start paying us tomorrow, you know, or next month or whatever. Well, the, that's the and then we create a, We create a system, you know, a course made with your stuff and anyone else who wants to participate or you can contact and ask for them to, to collaborate with you. We have control. Well, I'm, I'm glad you that. Yeah, I mean, that's that's the plan, right? I mean, I the thing about Liciel was it's it's sort of like again giving the info about how not to do it and and just we're learning a lot. And I think that this one forty, you know, the the program we're working is going to be fundamentally the program that we use, right? Like that's going to be yeah. our way to build to build to get these hundred forty four people together, and we'll take them through missions where they learn the map or do whatever you want. Yeah, I think I mean. Yeah, I think I think uh, we could do. I'm not. I'm, I'm, I shouldn't say we could do better because I don't know. But I think we could also do a pretty good try at what they're basically trying to do is, you know, create some groups that are going to change the world. Start with twelve groups of twelve, and then interlace them with the idea that you had, and take it from there. You know, and, and give them the framework that they need to you know to do it. Yeah. No, I mean that's that's always been the goal, right? I mean. Okay, well. I think we should start. Oh, really? <laughs> well, well, yeah. What are we waiting for? Well, well, if you want to start first, we got to get the chat room working, and first, I, I want to see it working with people. So the step, like we're in the middle of doing it. You're just realizing that we're doing it. Yeah, I don't think we need to. To you know, we can get the chat room done within two to four weeks, no problem. And I think our timeline will work fine with that too, because I think we should do a similar thing, just on a on a quicker time scale than that. So, you know, we'll do, we could do a one month process where these people join up and they introduce themselves and they talk once a week for a month and then, and then boom, then we start catapulting them into the seven step process that we designed that'll, that'll walk the groups through what they're doing. And then after the, in, within one month as well, or yeah. seven weeks, you know, maximum. And then, and then boom, right away, we start to blend the groups together. Um, and then during that period, we create a bit of an extra piece of platform or a system, whatever, using Rike or whatever else we want to create a system for them to use so that the interlacing works and yeah. we can do stuff. And within three months, we'll have them, the groups up and running and actually doing something. I, uh, pretty I, cool. I agree. I agree. I mean, the thing is going to be, um, you know, finding some allies who are tapped, like maybe that Sky guy who, who are tapped into large communities that, you know, we need a partner that can draw some people in. Yep. Yep. Um, 
because I think for, I mean, you're still in your school stuff, so you don't got the time. I'm, you know, I'm, I'm pretty stretched. Um, so we got to bring some more people in, right? Maybe. I mean, unless you're thinking I, I can do it, maybe I could do it. I mean, I do know, I mean, I think I know 144 people that I would like to bring in that are like, I could look at my Facebook friends. I could just look at the people I know. And I've thought for a long time thinking we need to build a shared knowledge community. And, you know, I got I it. it. Yeah. I think a system like that is the way to do it where, you know, you take a look at your friends. I take a look at my friends between us. We got close to 144 people. And then we, you know, maybe we only got 60 really, really good ones. Then we invite those 60 and after, you know, you know, week two assignment is to invite one other person you think will be, you know, very good and put in there that this is not a pyramid thing. This is the only other person you're going to have to ever invite. You know, we're just right. trying to get up to 144. Well, but, 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 no, wait, a second. Just, but wait a second, yeah. wait a second, wait a second. There's something which I see here too, in terms of getting the right people and then having the process to almost be qualified Yeah. in, in terms yeah. of like, you know, maybe half the people in the CL shouldn't be there. Like they're half part-timers, they're working somewhere else, they're doing something else. We need people that are full-timers that go, I, you know, I want this to be my life. And whether they're unemployed well, or they're... I mean, that would be the best. Um, but that's the story. Like, somewhere, some, somewhere in the middle, somewhere in the middle, I think. Because yeah, most of the people in my group are so freaking busy, it's insane. I'm surprised they could even make the weekend, weekday, uh, weekly meetings and our team is getting smaller and smaller. Although no one's talking about it, but there was five people showed up last week. Okay. And yeah, I, hear, no, I, hear I, I mean, the other about the same. I mean, uh, my vibe and like I went through like a sort of hell for the last three weeks, and I wasn't happy with Lisiel at all. And uh, I'm sort of coming out of it, but you know, I just I just realized the extent of what was happening, and and seeing that I could sense that it wasn't working. You know. Yeah, and it may it may suddenly start working. I don't know, but um, yeah, I think in you and I just if we just you know have a couple meetings a week for the next few weeks, you know, we'll still we'll still get the chat room done. We'll still do everything for Lucielle and work with uh, Dylan if he's still interested or whatever. But also, you and I just have a few discussions about like let's let's create a bit of a process, right? Like the it, I think the process they had was really smart to get people in in one regard, like I, basically. A, you invited me, right? Um, and it, I can't remember exactly what happened. I think I just got an email that says you've been invited, you know, but you could have just told me that. Anyway, there was a so good letter. It came with a good letter, right? Yeah, but not only that, I went to the website. It had like a two minute video that was pretty inspiring. Right. And then uh, none of, none of, nowhere in the email and nowhere in the video did it say that I had to pay anything. That's smart. So it didn't, until I signed up and started putting all my stuff in, then it said, you know, it said in a very crafty way. Anyway, that's how we get people to pay. I think it was done well. Because no one wants to get an email that says, hey, join this thing and pay us 60 bucks a month, by the way. They well, want to get a thing that says you've been selected, you know, you've been chosen. This group right. is going to be formed. Um, and then later, after they're already, you know, sold on the whole thing. Oh, by the way, you know, we don't have any money. You well, need to give us a little bit. I think I know who the other person is. I think it could be Ramayan. Yeah, okay. Who's that? Well, I haven't told you about him. He's he's someone who's very aware of the work. He's the guy who did the Veeam, has the Veeam project. He's he's developed some software, he's raised some money. Uh he knows what it, he's into the very secret plan. Oh, hold on. Uh was he was he in the synergy group one with me? Um no, I think his brother Zamir. I think Zamir was there just for a little bit. Zamir was there, yeah. Yeah, his brother. Who I also okay. invited, but he didn't. He didn't come. But he's he's always in the background. We've known each other for over ten years, and he's he understands the inflow matrix better than nearly anybody. So he's he's also on Unify. He's he's more of a marketer. He's more he's really good with people, and um, yeah. he's. I've been waiting to show him this just to see because he has the whole idea of shared knowledge community. He has a a sort of different idea about connecting people together in businesses and we've sort of come to I don't know, loggerheads but sometimes we're in philosophically different places but um essentially it's creating new paradigm structures and he's looking more from the business organizational point of view and i'm looking more for the individual coming together 
So they're just, they're just different aspects we found out at some point. But I wanted to have this ready right before showing him to, I didn't even show him this page. I just, I, I want it working right before showing people. Yeah, okay. So otherwise you're trying, like, I don't want to try to sell an idea that hasn't already occurred in a sense. I, I want to put a lot of, but I'm, I'm totally down. Like if you're excited to do it, that, that inspires me because that's always been the plan. But, you know, I, I just figure we got to take, you know, small steps in the right direction. We got to take a step at a time. And if Lisiel is sort of, I mean, I, I did know for almost from the get go that Lisiel wouldn't really build the shared knowledge community. Um, because they have to go through, depends on what, what's going to happen on the inside there. Yeah. Because right now they're sort of, they know, you know, they're, the only answer really is this chat room to change course. And, and right now, and I also, I sent them the, the yearly planner, the weekly, the hourly and the score sheet. Yeah. Those four that are very powerful. And then I sent you the score sheet for the, did you, could you pull that up? Oh yeah. Uh, score sheet I for the water team. To actually go through it. I, I, I grasped that it looks good. I just haven't, uh, let me bring it up, hold on. So the, the, you know, the idea being that every team makes a score sheet as to what you think you want is, is what you're gonna do, right? Like, how do you keep score? Yeah. <laughs> Plus, oh, thank you. Just looking for the right freaking window here. I got too many windows open. Ah, here we are. <laughs> Which should I bring up? Uh, not one? the blank one. Yeah, that one. So I, I, I mean, I kind of did this off the top of my head yesterday, so yep. I didn't put tons of thought in. I mean, I, I just sort of rambled something off and it started like it was different from the other time. It started with the community space of looking at, OK, what happens if they looked at all the watersheds, found the watershed, found all the flows in and then found all like the the uh, the human uses and then the real sources and then start to look around the world like. What, what is happening in these places in terms of water flow and waste. And then finding one person in each watershed to be like an educator that kind of uh, up. And then from a group place to research all the water conversation programs in the world, uh, create a training program module, uh, build and continue to add to the web team site, uh, meet weekly to report progress and brainstorm strategy, create media to report findings and progress. So basically the team is a media team that's doing research, finding the best methods, and then training people in each watershed to train the rest of the watershed or to build a team or whatever, right? So, I mean, it's basically media. I think they could all be that, right? Like it's media and training, finding the best practice, and then helping that globally. And then, so one-on-one -on -one space was interview and recruit any potential uh, educators, uh, team members one-on-one, -on -one, so you start to track that. Uh, interview the water shortage advisors, any experts out there, one-on-one uh, -on -one meetings with other LCL team members and one-on-one -on -one meetings with government officials. So then looking at that one-on-one -on -one space of, of honoring like this with me and you right now, right? This We're doing something that's worth something. We're doing a one-on-one -on -one meeting. Yep. Um, and then the personal space, then looking at specifically around water, uh, what are they doing? Read and study water methods and conservation, create personal media about it, watch vids about it. Uh, load vids about it on the website and write an article. So all things they can do by themselves. Yep. And then from a sacred space, create prayers for purifying water, meditate daily, bless some water, achieve emptiness and achieve samandhi. And so each of these things has something to track and then you assign a point total to, to it. Yeah. So, I mean, they've already put, put forward the game. Like, did you, when... Did you see the city idea? The city idea, no, I did like, not. Did you see that at some point they put forward that all the teams were going to make an ideal city? No. No? 
No, but you know, I, I, I haven't caught up in the last few weeks. I am two weeks behind basically. Okay. So, okay. So, so that's, that, that's sort of, you know, don't tell anyone, but that I didn't even know that happened. That was, that was again, sort of an executive decision that went past me. Um, You'll see. Uh, see, uh, yeah, I don't think that's very helpful for the world. <laughs> So many people have already made ideal solutions. It doesn't mean anything unless people are actually going to do something. We don't have the resources to make a city. Yeah, I mean, it threw me, and it, it then I would have thought, okay, well, if that was the actual design from the beginning, we would have done this differently. And yeah, it, yeah I sort of question. I go, where did that come from? <laughs> yeah, how, right. was that, how was that decision made? Hmm. Well. Yeah. Okay. Well, I think. Uh, so, getting back to the score sheet, what, what do you yeah. think about this score sheet idea? I think it's pretty good. Did you send it to them already? No. Okay. I think I would. I would suggest a couple different suggestions. Okay. I don't know. I don't think you're gonna like them, but I think they're good. Okay. <laughs> I think one you should take out uh, the Mayan and Julian references there. Okay. And yeah, I mean, if you okay. stripped off that and you stripped off the group space, community space, one-on-one -on -one space, those things. Well, wait a second, that's the point. <laughs> no, I mean, up at the top, uh, like oh, leave the colored ones, leave the colored ones. Okay, because uh, that one is designating the weak. Okay, so that's confusing them, I guess, right? I think that's confusing, yeah. Okay, because that's that's like, because I said the, the 13. Yeah, and the Mayan Julian seven step pulse, I'd, I'd take that off. Okay. Just because um, it is not necessary. Okay. You know, that is the seven step pulse, but it doesn't have to be referenced there. And, and the Julian Mayan thing, I would, I would saying, say right, wait, that that's good. Are you saying people. take off the pulse one too? No, just a, just a reference that says seven step pulse. Okay. And then also the references Mayan and Julian. I, I would suggest taking those off. Okay, but sh I should I take off the spot for the Mayan? Um, yeah, you know I, I what I would suggest off. is you is you remove the four spaces the, the on the top right top left there by beside water team. Yeah, and remove the three references on the far right, the Mayan, Julian, seven step pulse, and then just just change that whole top thing to just seven big spaces. For the seven steps yeah uh and if that's where you put the date yeah and like extend extend the water team etc where those four spaces were i got you doing that. that okay and then and then you could just leave a blank space on the far right if you want or just put uh you know by elijah Brignania or something okay Okay. So I think visually, that's what I would suggest. Um, okay, I'm doing it. Okay. And then I have, I have to leave in five minutes to pick up the girls from okay. school. Um, but I think also, I like the points. I think there's something needs to change there. I don't know what it is yet. I have to, I have to look at this again. Okay, I'll, I'll send you the, the, the updated one. And then we'll go talk when you get back or something? Uh, yep. Okay. Yeah, probably 20, well, I don't know, half an hour or something like that. Okay. I'll text you as soon as I'm, or I'll send you a message as soon as I'm back. Okay. See you. All right. Cool.